Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a really simple recipe that will help treat hair loss and speed up hair growth and also help to manage moisture in your hair. So if you are interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching. Now before we get into it guys, thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. I really love and appreciate support. If you're new here, please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family. Now let's hop right into the video. So the first ingredient we're going to need for today's recipe will be some fresh ginger. Now you can get this from your regular um, grocery store or perhaps um, online as well if you want to perhaps to get the powder but it's better that you use the fresh one um, just because it's still full of its nutrients basically it hasn't been processed um, in any way so you want to go ahead give your ginger a wash and then just grate it essentially you don't need to remove the skin guys so don't worry about it just grate it with the skin because that skin also contains some vital nutrients that will help with hair growth and moisture so just to let you know a little bit about ginger ginger helps it improve the blood circulation to the scalp while also stimulating each hair follicles which in turn promote natural high growth now they also contain lots of vitamins and minerals and fatty acids which helps to strengthen your hair and essentially helps to combat hair loss and ginger contributes to restoring moisture loss as well so super super amazing to have in your hair diy so after you've grated your ginger guys just pop it in this little bowl and then we're just going to go in with our next ingredient so what i will be using next will be some black tea so if you're in the uk you know what english breakfast tea is um but essentially if you're not it is just the regular black tea so any regular black tea will do um so i will be using two tea bags for this um, black tea essentially also helps to increase high growth again fighting hair loss it enhances shine and it also helps to boost the color of our hair so it's super super amazing so just cut your tea and then just pour the content of it in the same bowl in which you have the ginger now we're going to go in next with some coconut oil um, feel free to substitute this oil for something else if perhaps you are um, allergic to coconut oil or your hair just doesn't seem to like it essentially or if you don't even have coconut oil it's fine to use any other oil of a choice it could be rapeseed oil um, or perhaps um, I don't know like any other oil that is a bit more resistant to heat so um, I added about about maybe one tablespoon of coconut oil now I'm going in here with some olive oil um, you can use olive oil on its own um, if you don't have coconut oil so for this I think I'll be adding about six to seven tablespoons of olive oil but again guys alter these quantities based on how much you are trying to make so give that a good stir and then we're going to go ahead and do the double boiler method so we can extract as much nutrients from, from this as possible now in case you're new here and you're coming across the double boiler method for the first time it is really simple and easy to do all you have to do is put water in a pot and then you know place your bowl in it and essentially allow it to simmer away um, but then stir in between so usually I would do this for about five to six minutes and then it's pretty much ready to go um, so that's pretty much it so after it's simmered for a little bit you want to take it off the stove and just allow it to cool down and then we're just going to go ahead and strain so this is what it looks like after it has sat there for a little bit you can see that it has the oil definitely has sort of changed a little bit of color so that's how you know that it has properly infused so now we're going to go ahead and um, sieve this so i will be using a recap for this and i suggest you do the same guys because it will make life so much easier so pour the content on there and then you're just going to go ahead and give it a gentle squeeze to, until you get all of the oil out so what will be left in your recap will be the pulp which you can get rid of yeah yeah, yeah, on me, yeah, no escaping from my mind, but low key, you know that you one of a kind, wanna show me, baby, the things you feel do with that body. 
Okay guys, so this is our oil, so just go ahead and give it a nice stir until everything is nice and combined, so it's properly mixed. And then that's pretty much it. So I'm now going to go ahead and pop this in a mason jar um, so that it's easier for me to use and also easier to store because you can just pop the lid over and just you know allow it to sit in your cupboard or something so yeah this is basically what it looks like now you can add essential oils to this guys if you want to essential oils are just as amazing for hair growth um, and also for blood flow to the scalp but I'm not loving the smell of essential oils at the moment so that's why I am not using them um, but yeah I just can't wait to sort of get back to essential oils again but yeah definitely feel free to add essential oils to yours um, if you want to now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how I use this it is super super simple um, so stick with me so essentially my hair is currently in this um, small twist um, I put them in after I washed and conditioned my hair um, I'm definitely in desperate need to do something else with my hair nowadays honestly i've been wanting to straighten it or even blow dry it for the longest time but i just don't get enough um energy or even time to do it but i'll definitely get around to it and i, I want to wear my hair a bit straighter in, you know this summer before summer ends essentially but anyways so i was just showing you guys how i love the smell of this if you like the smell of ginger Trust me, you will love this because it smells really gingery and it's really nice. Um, so essentially, all you need to do is work this through your scalp um, to make sure that every single bit of your scalp is covered. And also, you can also apply it to you know the length of your hair as well because this will also help with moisture and shine. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to work it through my scalp and just make sure that every bit is covered. And also, don't forget your edges, guys. If you have areas that you're struggling with, such as you know your edges, perhaps if you've lost them and you're trying to regrow them, you can essentially apply it to those areas and massage. Um, massages, again, like I always say, guys, super, super important when it comes to stimulating high growth because it increases the blood flow to the area. So it's super important that when you're using oils um, to help with high growth, that you also incorporate massages. Um, it is just really, really good. Now, you can also use this as a sealant. So let's say you are just, you know, moisturizing your hair and you're looking for something to just help you seal the moisture this will also be a really good um, oil to use like i said it smells really good and also because of the olive oil and coconut oil in it it definitely um, helps with keeping the moisture in your hair as well now as you can see here i'm just going ahead and massaging my scalp so i'm massaging really well um just to stimulate the blood flow um you can invest in a scalp massaging brush um, just to make the process a little bit easier i found that when somebody else massaging my, my scalp like my husband for example it feels really good um so maybe get some help if you do need it um, so in case you're wondering how often you should be using this um, If you notice that you're looking to just regrow your edges guys So let's say you've lost you know your edges and you're trying to regrow it or you've got bald patches um, Obviously you want to use as often as, as possible consistency is key um, So if you use it once in a while you probably won't see as much results as if you are consistent with it So I'll say twice to three times a week is a good time to use um, so just apply to the area, give it a nice massage and then essentially um, repeat, you know, throughout the week. And yeah, you will definitely notice that that hair is starting to fill up. Yeah, so you'll notice that your hair is starting to fill up over time. So it's better that you are also patient with it. So this is pretty much it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and if you did, please please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already don't forget to share and i'll catch you in my next one bye